Hi, I'm Rob Ryder, a licensed pilot and your host for this video. I'm at the Claremont County Airport, which is the home base for flight operations in the University of Cincinnati's professional pilot program. During this program, we'll look at the pilot profession and the different career paths available to pilots. Like aviation itself, the job of being a pilot has also come a long way since the silk scarf and helmet era of the barnstormer to today's high-tech flight deck. Most people would probably agree that one of the most exciting and challenging jobs in aviation is that of the pilot. The pilot in command manages the flight and is ultimately responsible for a safe, comfortable, and efficient flight. There are many kinds of piloting jobs. In some, the pilot flies alone, performing functions such as agricultural application or patrolling pipelines and power lines. Or a pilot may be a flight instructor, training student pilots. Then there are the pilots who transport people or cargo. They may work for an airline, an air cargo operation, a fractional or charter company, or in a corporate flight department. Piloting jobs vary, but a number of factors are common to all professional pilots. They've completed a flight training program leading to a commercial pilot certificate. Depending on the requirements of their particular flying job, they also have one or more advanced ratings, such as instrument or multi-engine. All pilots have a similar office, the flight deck. It contains the instruments, navigation equipment, and controls to operate the aircraft. Pilots have dual responsibilities. They must satisfy their employer, as well as the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. They must demonstrate to the FAA that their flying skills, knowledge, and health are acceptable for their flying jobs. Professional pilots are required to undergo regular physical examinations. Captains every six months and first officers every 12 months. In the past, most civilian professional pilots were former armed forces pilots. This was particularly true for airline pilots. The armed forces have reduced the number of pilots being trained and offer significant incentives to retain pilots. As a result, most new professional pilots are civilian trained. There are many paths a pilot can take after earning the commercial pilot certificate. The Aviation Technology Pilot Training Curriculum is a progression of study directed toward training the student in primary, advanced, and instrument flight. The progression of flight and aviation academic courses is integrated with two years of college general studies. Aviation academic and college general studies courses are all taught at the Claremont College campus of the University of Cincinnati. General studies include classes on communication, mathematics, physics, economics, psychology, and information systems. The aviation academic courses prepare students for the FAA recreational, private pilot, instrument rating, commercial pilot, and flight instructor examinations. The Claremont County Airport is the laboratory for all the pilot courses. The University of Cincinnati pilot training courses are conducted under Federal Aviation Regulations Part 141. Schools approved by the FAA under Part 141 must meet the highest standards of curriculum, instructional staff, and aircraft. Graduates of the approved school must demonstrate a high pass rate on written and practical examinations for pilot certification. Because of the quality of the training they receive, approved school graduates are able to qualify for certification with less flight experience than required under other certification regulations. With the lower flight times, there is substantial reduction in the cost of pilot certification. The training fleet consists of Cessna 172 Skyhawks, which are used during the primary training phase and the instrument and commercial training course. The retractable landing gear Beechcraft Bonanza and high-performance Cessna Skylane are used during transition for the commercial pilot certificate. A Piper Aztec is used for multi-engine commercial operations, and a Diamond Extreme Motor Glider is available for students who want to explore soaring flight. A Frasca simulator is used to introduce flight concepts. Through extensive use of the simulator, students are able to learn a wide range of flight operations before encountering them in the airplane. Engines and controls of a simulator perform as they would in a typical general aviation airplane. There is a high fidelity of simulation in all phases of flight. 
Students prepare for the recreational pilot certificate during the first academic term and move on to the private pilot certificate during the second term. Instruction for the instrument rating begins during the summer term. The second year of the program is devoted to the commercial pilot and flight instructor certificates. When proficiency in the required maneuvers is attained, the student is able to practice instruction with the instructor in the role of a student. During the flights, the student flies the airplane from the right seat, which is usually occupied by the instructor. Now the student is responsible for explaining, analyzing, and critiquing the instructor's performance. Practice teaching assignments include academic subjects and pre-flight and post-flight briefings. Students may also be assigned to do practice ground instruction under the close supervision of the instructor. Graduates of the Aviation Technology Professional Pilot Training Program are encouraged to continue their education to receive a baccalaureate degree. They have a unique opportunity to apply their two-year degree toward a bachelor's in business from UC's College of Business Administration. Arrangements have also been made with a number of other institutions which will accept most of the credit toward a four-year degree in aviation management or a related field. For more information about a career in aviation, contact the University of Cincinnati.